The Battle of the Echinades was fought in 1427 among the Echinades Islands off western Greece between the fleets of Carlo I. Tocco and the Byzantine Empire. The battle was a decisive Byzantine victory, the last in the empire's naval history, and led to the consolidation of the Peloponnese under the Byzantine despotate of the Moria. Background in the early 15th century, the Peloponnese Peninsula was divided between three powers, the Latin Principality of Achaea in the north and west, the Byzantine Greek despotate of the Moria in the south and east, and Argos and now Plea. Coronan Modern and some attendant forts, held by the Republic of Venice. The Byzantines were actively trying to conquer the ailing principality all the while the menace of the ever-expanding Ottoman Empire threatened all of them. Carlo Itoko, the ruler of the county Palatine of Cephalonia and Zacanthos, of Lefkada and of the despotate of Epirus, took advantage of the Byzantine Achaean struggles to extend his domains into the Peloponnese. In 1407-1408 his brother Leonardo seized and plundered the fortress of Glarenza in the northwestern Peloponnese and in 1421 Carlo bought permanent possession of it from Oliverio Franco, who had seized it from the Achaean prince Centurion II Zaccaria three years earlier. In February 1423, a shaky truce was brokered between Zaccaria, Tocco and the Byzantines by the Venetians, who were eager to establish a common front against the Ottomans. But this did not prevent a major Ottoman raid into the peninsula by Turahan Bay in summer 1423, nor did it stop the aggressive Byzantine despot, Theodore II Paleologos, from raiding Venetian territory and even capturing Centurion Zacharia in June 1424. The Byzantines initially seemed content to let Oko alone, as he too had open scores with Zacharia. But war between the two powers was provoked in late 1426, when Tocco's forces seized the animals of Albanian herders during the latter's annual migration from the Byzantine-controlled central uplands to the plain of Elis. Battle and aftermath The Byzantine emperor, John VIII Paleologos, personally travelled to the Peloponnese, and the Byzantine forces laid siege to Glarenza by land and sea. Tocco assembled a fleet from his domains in the Ionian Islands and Epirus, augmented by ships from Marseille, and placed it under the command of his illegitimate son, Torno. The Byzantine fleet, under a certain Leon Terios, met the Latin fleet at the Echinades and dealt it a crushing blow. Most of Tocco's ships were captured, many of the crews were killed and over 150 men were taken prisoner. Torno himself was barely able to escape. The victory was recorded in a lengthy anonymous panegyric to Manuel II Paleologos and his son John VIII, which is also the main source of information about the battle. This defeat ended Tocco's ambitions in the Peloponnese. In a negotiated settlement, John VIII's brother Constantine Paleologos married Magdalena Tocco, Carlo's niece and received the Tocco family's Peloponnesian domains as her dairy. Based in Tocco's form of domains, and under Constantine's leadership, the Byzantines went on to reduce the last remnants of the Achaean principality. Patras fell in May 1430, and by 1432, Constantine and his brothers had deposed the last Latin feudatories and restored the entire peninsula, with the exception of the Venetian possessions, to Byzantine control.